Welcome to the MindView 6 video on customizing your mind map. In this video, you will learn an introduction to the design and format tabs, how to change the layout and style of a map, how to apply global effects to the map, including color schemes, branch and root shapes, page colors, and page patterns. You will also learn how to change effects and properties for individual branches, including the color schemes, branch fill and gradient colors, even the branch outlines and boundaries. Let's begin. This video assumes that you have a basic working knowledge of building a mind map. In this example, we've created an agenda in the mind map view. To begin customizing your mind map, let's take a look at the different views that are available inside of mind view. Under the view tab, you can access and locate the various views listed within the software. The mind map or top down view. I can continue with the left right view the outline view, and we also have the timeline and Gantt chart views, which will be covered in a later tutorial. For this example, we'll begin by working in the mind map view. Mind view comes preloaded with several design styles that you can choose to implement to change the look and feel of the mind map. By hovering the small icon at the top, you can see a live preview down below. By selecting the drop-down of the styles, I can access some additional styles, again by hovering the small preview. To continue, let's take a look at the additional effects that you can apply under the Design tab. Everything that is done under the Design tab will affect the map and its entirety. I can choose to change the color scheme of the branches if I choose to match the main branches to the root. I can choose to change the root shapes if I choose to, to give a different feel for the map itself. I can change the branch shapes as well. And if I choose a specific design effect that I'm not happy with, I can always choose to reset the style back to the default. I can also change the text color that's utilized globally within the map. I can choose to create a page color. I can even apply a pattern to the page if I choose that that may improve the look and feel of the map. As discussed, all individual styles or effects that are created can easily be set back by choosing the reset style button. If I'd like to change the properties of a unique branch, I can select that branch by left clicking and from the top ribbon, I now have access to the format tab. The format tab is only available when I've selected a branch or a group of branches. The format tab has some similar features such as color scheme, branch shapes, fill color, and so on. And to go through these, we can choose the color scheme of the first main branch. I can easily apply a color scheme to multiple branches by left clicking and holding down the control button, selecting multiple branches and applying that color. I can also change any level of the mind maps colors using the format tab, where I can choose to change second level, third level, fourth level, and so on. If I would like to give a branch a specific outline shape, if there was not one listed, I can left click a sub branch go back to that format tab and choose to create an outline color. It is up to me what color I would then choose for the outline. And I can again change the branch shapes if I'd like to by selecting the desired branch, choosing the shape for the branch and applying that new effect. For grouping branches that may be relevant to each other, I can select a main branch, go back to the format tab and choose to select a boundary. The visual boundary can be created and edited using the fill color or outline options.